Ugh, why does this project hate me? I love this idea so much and I just can't get it to work. All I need is for that one thing not to break and if I... But what if I... Regardless of whether you work in a small shared space or are fortunate enough to have a massive dedicated workshop, there's one problem that we all have. Now, of course, I'm talking about sawdust. Now, I don't like sawdust. It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. A shop vac or even better, a dust collector is a huge help in keeping your shop clean. You can even save a lot of time by connecting it directly to your tool while using it. But I find that I trip over this big hose while using tools like the planer or miter saw that I'm having to maneuver material around and even more so while using more nimble tools like the router or my sanders. So today we're gonna make an inexpensive overhead dust collection arm using EMT conduit and maker pipe fittings, starting by cutting most of the conduit to length. I intentionally left a few pieces oversized so that I could cut them to their final length using a relative measurement found during the dry fit with the maker pipe connections. These are gonna hold the whole thing together and make it work. To get a better idea of how the arm is gonna function, I built a prototype out of miniature maker pipe fittings and coffee stirs. This helped me visualize how the whole arm is going to work. So let's go ahead and dry fit the full size thing. The dry fit went well and only highlighted one adjustment we need to make. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next step, which is taking this vertical bar off so that we can mark the holes on my overhead storage to mount it. I think it's gonna be a lot easier to mount this vertical bar first and then attach everything else to it. About halfway through trying to add threads to this piece of conduit, I realized it's gonna be a lot easier just to install these flanges directly onto the overhead storage and then add the conduit from there. So I'm gonna back this piece out and do that instead. During the dry fit, I found once I tightened the maker pipe fittings, they didn't budge, which is perfect for most of the project because we need this to be a strong frame. However, we also want the arm to be able to rotate around the shop, so some of these need to be able to rotate without issue. It's hard to see on camera, but there's a small piece of shrink tube on these ends, which help them bind to the conduit. I've removed them from this piece, and you can see it rotates without issue. I'm gonna remove the shrink tube from all the pieces that need to rotate, leave them on all the pieces that need to be fixed. There are a couple of areas that don't have shrink tube where I want them, so I picked up some extra that I'm gonna add to the end of the conduit and really help strengthen up the whole frame.
arm is mounted and moving exactly how we wanted, which I am really excited about. The next thing we need to do is get some dust collection hose from the end of the arm all the way to the dust collector. Now this is gonna look a little bit different depending on your shop layout, but getting the hose on the arm should look pretty similar almost no matter what. As I was adding the last piece of the dust collection hose, I had a slight failure of the arm. You can see that the top diagonal conduit just slipped right out of the fitting. Even though that dust collection hose is not particularly heavy, I'm not using leverage to my advantage. So that little piece becomes extra heavy. I'm gonna refit that fitting and drill a hole through the fitting and the conduit add a screw. That should really tighten everything up because it'll be a mechanical joint as opposed to just a friction fit on there, which I think will be a lot better in this instance. Mm. So unfortunately, this arm design isn't gonna work, mainly because this middle bar has no side-to-side -side support, which means once we add weight to the end, like with the hose, the end pulls down because the middle sags side to side, and then we are left with a 45 degree arm that doesn't go the full length that we really needed. Fortunately, the solution is actually pretty simple. We remove the bar, which leaves one diagonal and then one bottom bar. That middle pivot point has also been removed from the free planes that we have available for the dust collection arms so that you don't have to make the same mistakes that I did. Huge thanks to my friends at Maker Pie for sending me everything I needed to make this project a reality. I've got links down in the description for everything I used and check out their website because they have a ton of other connectors available as well. Thanks Maker Pie. Even with the mid-project lesson and simplification, I'm happy with how the dust collection arm turned out. It's gonna be really handy to have dust collection readily available to a majority of my shop without having to run a ton of hose everywhere and without taking up any additional space. If you're working out of a small shop like I am where you need or just want to maximize space, you're probably interested in the hanging wall control panels in front of my tool wall behind me. These hanging panels allow me to use otherwise completely wasted space while also adding organizational capacity to my tool wall. I've got that video pulled up for you right over here, so I'll see you in that video.